fuel and liquid oxygen. Super chilled liquid oxygen, which as I mentioned earlier is our propellant oxidizer, is what's creating those white clouds that you see around Falcon 9 when it's exposed to the warmer ambient air. You can see that on your screen there. First stage should finish prop loading, uh, actually already has finished prop loading at T minus three minutes, and second stage is coming up on finished prop loading at T minus two minutes. At T minus 60 seconds, Falcon 9 will be in startup, and that means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over the launch Stage countdown. Two, lock load is complete. So with the Starlink payload continuing to be healthy, the F9 teams, Falcon 9 teams are tracking no issues on the rocket. Weather is still looking good, and the range is green for launch. So we are at T minus one and a half minutes from liftoff. And again, in about 30 seconds, Falcon 9 will be in startup. And what this means is that the vehicle will basically be autonomously making its decision if it will continue with liftoff at T0. Falcon 9 is in the startup. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. Go for launch. And at T minus 45 seconds, there was that call out for go for launch. Again, that was the Falcon 9 rocket making that decision autonomously. Now we are T minus 30 seconds from liftoff of our Starlink payload tonight. So let's listen in and watch liftoff. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. throttle down our engines in preparation for max Q, and that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, which is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see. That's coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there's that call out that we have just passed through max Q. Landing lights are deployed.
for SpaceX. They have all four legs folded up on Osili. They've never done that before. That brings them much closer to the 24 hour turnaround. They left uh, the Octagrabber hooked up and disconnected the crane from the blur and the blur is self-contained, self-powered, battery powered, Tesla powered. So the winches can move independently and lift the legs. Uh, the reason they probably unhooked the crane is because while it's in the water, it's actually moving around. The boat is still moving. When we do fast motion of it here in the port, you can see the booster moving around. So this is one step closer to that 24 hour turnaround. 